starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Well, you didn't waste much time. There wasn't very much water. Well, tomorrow morning, we'll start looking for the right place to dig the new well. Okay. Lassie and I'll help you look. Well, I'm afraid it's not going to be that easy. We'll have to get an expert to tell us where to dig and how deep to go. We'll hire Mr. Landers. He's a geologist. Uh, a what? A geologist. That's a man who's studied the earth and rock formations. Did Mr. Landers say how much he'd charge us? Fifty dollars. Boy, fifty dollars just to find water? Why don't we start saving water? I could stop taking baths. Oh, bath. thank you very much. That's very kind of you, Timmy, but uh, I'm afraid that taking fewer baths is really not a very good way to economize. Even Lassie uses water. We need it for the house, for the stock. We're doing more irrigating all the time. Every living thing needs water. You're right. Everything that lives needs water. Uh, would you say the prayer tonight, Timmy? Bless this food for our use and us to thy service. Thank you for the water, God. Amen. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Evening, Cully. Oh, hello, Cully. How are you? Hello, Jimmy. Ruth. Good to see you, Paul. Well... I hear you're planning in a new well. That's right, Cully. We're getting about half the water we need from that old one. I remember when it was dug. Said at the time there wasn't going deep enough. You were sure right, Mr. Wilson. Yeah, of course, sir. That was almost 20 years ago. It wasn't so much calling water then. Well, it's the irrigating that's using it all up now, Cully. You heard me talk about that down at the Grange, Paul. <laughs> Not too sure so much water is good for growing things. God makes them grow. God provides the water they need. Would you like a cup of coffee, Cully? No, uh, no, thank you. Uh, just get up from the supper table. Oh, <laughs> all right. Excuse me. What's that, Mr. Wilson? It looks like an old fork stick. Fork stick. <laughs> it's called a divining rod, Timmy. Finds water. Made out of weeping willow wood. But Dad said a geologist finds water. Oh, that's a waste of money. Yeah. This is the best way to find the water of any way I know. Well, I guess it's all right, Cully, if you believe in it. Believe in it? Oh. Paul, I've had three farms. And all the water I've had, I've found with a divining rod. My father, he used one all his life. Yep. So did my grandfather. You mean you can find water with an old stick? Huh. Easiest thing in the world. Well, you just hold it like this, see? And uh, you don't even have to look. <laughs> Tells you when it happens. <laughs> and uh, when you ride over the water, the stick dips down. Like this. Is that what a geologist uses? No, Timmy. Nothing like that. No, but they'd be better off if they did. All they do is just take your money and give you a lot of mumbo-jumbo. What do they know for a fact about the ground 30, 40, 100 feet under them? They know, Cully. They've studied. Oh, why do it, Paul? I guarantee this divining rod will find water for you. Then all Ed Jarrett has to do is just drill for it. I, uh, I appreciate your coming over, Cully, but we each have our different ways. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the truth. Yeah, we have. Oh, the world changes. But not necessarily for the better. You'd be the first to tell a man to do what he thinks is right, Cully. Um, Cully, are you, are you sure you won't have a piece of pie and some coffee? No. Yeah. I mean, no thanks, Ruth. Mrs. Wilson will be waiting for me. Tonight's cribbage night. Oh. Uh, no offense, Cully? 
No, no, no offense, Paul. I, I'm just an old-fashioned kind of a farmer. I like to stand in the fields and smell the earth. Not ride a tractor and smell gas. Oh, I'm fighting a rear guard fight, and it's lonesome. But that don't say I'm wrong. Night. Night, Cully. Good night, Cully. Divining rod. Would it work for me? Oh, sure it would. Nothing to it, Timmy. I don't suppose you'd let me borrow it. You don't, eh? You don't? Well. Here, Timmy. You're welcome to it. Now, just what's in your mind? Well, I thought if I could find water with this, you might drill there and save over fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Oh my goodness. That lander's fella sure has a good thing going for him. <laughs> hey, would you please show me how to do it again? Sure, sure. Well, you, you just walk around like this till you feel it move in your hands and dip down. Points of the water under the ground as big as you please. Gee, thanks, Mr. Wilson. I'll let you know as soon as I find water. You do that. You do that, Jimmy. to know what we're doing. That'll spoil the whole surprise. I said cut it out. was right. Just when I started to give up. Just when I didn't believe any part of it. Come on to breakfast, Timmy. Come in, Dad. What do you mean, son? I already found water. The divining rod, it really works. It really dipped down. I'll show you the place to dig the well. Here, Timmy, eat your breakfast. You gotta tell Mr. Landers never mind. You'll save a whole $50. Now, son, I explained how I felt last night. I believe in Mr. Landers, and I believe in the science of geology, not in a forked stick. But, Dad, it really worked. Mr. Landers' way will work, too, dear. Come on, now, eat your cereal. Okay. Whatever you say. It's, uh... It's just like planting seeds, Timmy. You can just throw them on the ground, and they might come up. But if you get the ground ready, and you put them in very carefully at the right depth, and then cover them over, you're a lot more certain to get a good crop. Not yet, son. Right now, I'm making sort of a preliminary survey. What's that? <laughs> Seeing the land itself. You know, looking at a map is only the beginning. How does it look to you around here, Mr. Landers? Well, not too good. There's a good deal of surface outcropping of rock. Is that bad? For water, yes. Gee, Lassie. He passed right by here. He's not going to pick this spot. But if he does, we'll prove that we found it first. 
I'll bury the divining rod right here. So if they dig the well here, we'll show them that Mr. Wilson was right. Most of the bedrock slopes and angles converge at this particular point. I feel this is the most logical spot in your entire acreage for a well, Mr. Martin. How far down is the water? Well, about 100 feet. It might just come up by gravity for you. Anyway, Ed Jarrett shouldn't have any trouble drilling here. Most of the substrate is soft. Well, fine. Let's go back to the house and I'll get your check. Thank you. We came past here twice, Lassie, and our divining rod didn't even wiggle. We tried, girl. Sometimes it's kind of hard to make grown-ups see things. Mr. Jarrett! Mr. Jarrett! Morning, Mr. Jarrett. Hi, Timmy. You gonna help me? Sure. What do you want me to do? Well, you can start by getting me some water. You see, it takes water to get water. Okay. And if Timmy gives you any trouble now. Oh, I don't think I ever dug a well without one or more little boys helping me. <laughs> well, what do you think? Well, if Lander says there's water here, I'll do my best to find it. From the looks of the ground, we should go pretty fast. Well, the beds and the dishes are waiting. I'll be in the barn if you need me, Ed. Fine, thanks. Here's your wire. Thanks, Timmy. The drilling bucket is what digs the hole. Boy, that's so Hi. Hi. This is the spot that geologist fell up in? Yes, sir. I found water with the divining rod. Well, do give you two cents for this spot. Okay. Don't smell right. Don't feel right. I found a different spot. It's right over... I figure it for dry sand and gravel all the way. This is a low spot, but water don't stand here after rain. That means it drains real good. Takes dry sand and gravel for that. <laughs> Does anyone want another sandwich? There's plenty left. No, thank you, Ruth. Well... We're almost down to a hundred feet. What's the matter, Lassie? No, girl. We're supposed to stay back here out of the way. Well, we've hit bedrock. A seam must have opened from the drilling. How'd the gasoline catch on fire? Well, probably sparks. When he brought the bucket up, it must have hit a rock and lit the gasoline that had run down the hole. It's a good thing we were close by. Well, if you hadn't hollered at me, Paul, I might have lost one rig. Oh, what are you going to do now? Well, there's no point in trying to go any deeper here. I'll never get through that rock. Not without special equipment and a lot more time. I said there wasn't any water here. Well, according to Lander's diagram, we should have hit it by now. Well, you're you're just going to have to start drilling someplace else, Ed. Boy, Mr. Lander sure was wrong, wasn't he? Well, it's not his fault, Timmy. You know, you can't see under there. You know how things are supposed to be. But that doesn't say they'll always be that way. Well, we'll just have to pick another spot. Whatever you say, Paul. I've got a spot. Please, Timmy. We're going to leave this in Mr. Jarrett's hands now. The boy used the divining rod. I'd say he'd be real smart to dig where he says. Well, thanks, Cully but we're gonna leave it up to Ed. Well, nearly all the gasoline is drained out. Ed, I can fix that crack while you're looking around. Well, fine, it'll speed things up, Paul. 
Come on, let's go, Timmy, huh? That, uh, that low spot on the far side of the field, that just might be pretty good. Is there some reason? Well, Mr. Landers figured a rock slope in his drawings. It would sort of catch the water and let it flow along it. We didn't find water where he said. Oh, that was just an accident. No reason why he should be wrong about the figuring he did. Sure hope you're right, Mr. Jarrett. Mom and Dad might run out of money if we're wrong this time. Hey. You do a lot of worrying for a little fella. Why shouldn't I? It's my family. Whatever happens to Mom and Dad happens to me, too. To me, that's a good way to think. You know, more kids should take hold of that idea. That spot where Lassie's sitting looks interesting. Gee, Lassie, what if she picks this place and finds water here? Boy, won't Mr. Wilson be happy? Yeah. And then Mom and Dad will have to believe in Mr. Wilson's divining rod. Timmy, I think this is the most likely spot on the farm for a well. I hope Paul's got that tank fixed. I'd like to start drilling right away. You won't say a thing, Lassie. Not until they dig the well and find the water. Then we'll dig up their divining rod and show them. Fine job, Paul. Thanks. I'll have it welded when I finish here. Did you decide on a spot yet, Ed? Oh, yes. Back of the barn. That rocky corner of the field. It, uh, it seems to have surface signs of water. Seepage from underground. Yeah, crops always did pretty well in that corner of the field. Timmy, go tell your mother about the spot where Mr. Jarrett's going to drill. She'll be interested. down there. No doubt of it. I'll be right back. I'm going to go tell Mr. Wilson. Come on, Lassie. Timmy, I hope you learned a lesson from this. I sure did, Mr. Wilson. Never laugh at the old-fashioned ways of doing things when you grow up. There's more real pleasure in the old ways. Nice to know you're doing things the way men did them long ago. Not yet, son. Any minute now, Timmy. Any minute. We've got it, Bruce. We've got it. It's under pressure. You have an artesian well. See, Mr. Wilson, you see? It works, and the water comes up all by itself. Timmy, I never doubted it for a minute. Can we tell him now, can we? Oh, we'll tell him, boy. Oh, we'll really tell him. Oh, child, I don't know if your daddy's going to appreciate this. <laughs> this will look like the cat that swallowed the canary. Mr. Wilson and I have a surprise for him. Of course, I'm not the type to say I told you so. <laughs> Come with me, everybody. Mr. Wilson's divining rod. Yeah, the boy buried it there. Show he the proof. You see, Mr. Wilson was right all the time. Well, now, let's not forget it was Ed who picked the spot. Even though we didn't have the sense to use Cully's divining rod. Well, a man gets wisdom with age. You young fellas, uh, well, you learn slow. That may be, Cully. But, uh, I think you all deserve credit. 
Timmy and Ed as well as Cully. And a very special thanks to you, Lassie. Thanks for letting me use it. And when I grow up and need it again, I'll come and get it. Well, I'll do something better for you, boy. Here, you can have that one. Gee, thanks. Well, I'll be heading for home. I left Mrs. Wilson weeding the kitchen garden all by herself. <laughs> Wait for me, Mr. Wilson. 